In this video, we are talking about V Cave, Texas, a very highly sought after area in the hill country of the greater Austin area. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the good and the bad about V Cave so that hopefully by the end, you will arrive at your own conclusion. If that's the reason you clicked on the video, stay tuned. Hey again everybody, this is Frank with the team of agents at JB Open Realtors. Each and every week we put out tons of new content about Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So remember to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. In addition to that, we love the reach outs we get all the time now from people just like you in need of our help when relocating to Austin, Texas. So keep them coming, don't hesitate, reach out to our team, whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week any time of day. So let's get right to it and talk about Bee Cave, Texas. Now this is an interesting one because Bee Cave is very attractive to many people due to its location. Bee Cave is close enough to the West Lake Hills. It is close enough to Lakeway and Lake Travis. However, it isn't going to be necessarily as expensive as the West Lake Hills, for example. And on the flip side, it's not necessarily going to be as affordable as some of the other areas in the greater Austin area. And again, that is because of its location. Now you could argue what's most enticing about Bee Cave, Texas is the fact that it's part of the hill country. And we found that a lot of the people relocating here from the coasts in particular have their eye on the hill country because in most cases they are giving up the beaches or giving up the mountains or giving up some sort of scenery and coming to the state of Texas which for the most part and for a very long time has mainly just been farm and ranch. Very flat, kind of boring, unless you're someone who has a specific taste for that style of nature. The hill country is a very appealing area for people who are coming here and are just a bit unsure about the landscape in Texas. Now what I find even more interesting about Bee Cave, Texas is how it managed to stay under the radar for such a long time. As of the year 2000, Bee Cave had a total population of right around three or four hundred people and by now, about two decades later, that's sitting at around 13,000. So even though the number 13,000 is considered small when you could compare it to Round Rock, Texas or Georgetown, Texas, each with maybe 90,000 or 110 plus thousand people, that still tells you that 13,000 from a mere 320 years ago is a rapid increase of the population and a sure sign of its popularity. With its rapid increase in popularity and recognition, combined with the influx of people flocking to Austin, Texas more now than ever before, it naturally begs the question as to whether it's already too late if you have your eyes on Bee Cave, Texas. A lot of people are already getting priced out. So is it a good idea? Well, let's find out and get into the details. For starters, let us further dissect the location of Bee Cave, Texas. And as I mentioned, it is going to be a little bit west of central downtown Austin, and it's going to be close enough to West Lake Hills and Lakeway, Texas, near Lake Travis and that whole lifestyle of living. Now, while Bee Cave, Texas is not going to be as close to downtown, say, as the West Lake Hills, which is part of the reason why those houses go on average for about two and a half million dollars, it is still going to be a respectable 20 to 25 minutes from the heart of downtown. So if you are coming here from either the coast or anywhere else in the country or the world for that matter, and you have your eyes on working corporate downtown Austin, that commute isn't going to be too much of a headache, especially when compared to a lot of these other commutes that people might be accustomed to in larger cities like Manhattan, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, so on and so forth. Now, corporate jobs downtown aside, one of the biggest reasons why people are relocating to Austin, Texas is for that tech workforce. If you didn't know already, so much of Silicon Valley from the Bay Area is migrating to Austin, Texas is creating the new Silicon Hills. So a majority of the clients we've helped in the past have come here for those tech jobs, which begs the question, what is the distance from Bee Cave to the tech corridor in Austin, Texas? That's going to look like around 30 to 35 minutes on average, factoring in just a little bit of traffic. Now, granted, a lot of people these days, they have the privilege and luxury of working from home, but I do realize and acknowledge a lot of us don't. So that is just something to keep in mind if you are going to be commuting on a daily basis. Lastly, on the note of distance, I will mention that the numbers 20 to 25 minutes from downtown and 30 to 35 minutes from the tech corridor are actually quite comparable to a lot of the northern suburbs that people are looking at as well. Take Leander, Texas, for instance. That's going to be usually maybe 25 to 30 minutes from downtown 
and only about 15 to 25 minutes from Tech since it is a bit north and the Tech Corridor is in North Austin. And of course, you'll find similar distances with the Round Rocks of the world, the Pflugervilles of the world, and places of that nature. So that does make Bee Cave quite appealing, even though it's not quite as close as mentioned as, say, the Westlake Hills, it is going to be quite a nice, reasonable distance and in the hill country, as I mentioned. So all of this is making it quite enticing. Moving right along to where it gets a little bit interesting now is the subject of crime and safety regarding Bee Cave, Texas. And this is something that is a little bit conflicting whenever you do your research, as I'm sure you are if you're serious about coming to Austin, Texas, is that a lot of these websites will talk about the safety of Bee Cave being less than average. And one of the sources I was checking is saying that Bee Cave, Texas is actually 77% less safe than the rest of the state of Texas as a whole. So that alone can be quite telling, even though it is a more expensive area than most in the surrounding areas of Austin, Texas. Now, one of the reasons a lot of people think this is, is because much of the Bee Cave area is apartments. And so people like to kind of point and shift blame at the apartments having their own statistics, their own demographic of crime and safety that perhaps represent the totality of Bee Cave. And I'm personally not sure where I stand on the matter. I have spent quite a lot of time in Bee Cave and it is quite elegant, it is quite nice, it is quite gorgeous, and I haven't heard too many situations of crime there. However, the statistics are the statistics. The data is the data, whether you kind of want to blame the apartment living or not. Some realtors do that. I try to keep it just with the facts. Fact of the matter is, the safety and crime ratings for Bee Cave are a little bit lackluster, but I suppose it depends on which part you're in. Next, let's talk about the schools in Bee Cave to those of you who are contemplating moving here with a family. So according to niche.com, one of those websites that likes to grade all of the school districts, ironically, in the greater Austin area, it receives a letter grade of an A, and that is the Lake Travis Independent School District. And that letter grade of an A is pretty much on par with a lot of the cream of the crop districts in the greater Austin area, the two biggest of which being the Leander Independent School District and the Round Rock Independent School District. Another one worth mentioning is the Eanes Independent School District, not too far from Bee Cave, as that is going to be in the Westlake Hills area. So even though the Eanes Independent School District and the Leander and Round Rock Independent School Districts are really going to be your top echelon cream of the crop, don't sleep on Lake Travis Independent School District either. It always consistently places and ranks among the top districts in the greater Austin area, which makes Makes it quite enticing, maintaining superb graduation rates, SAT scores, and ACT scores. Now, what makes it interesting though is that Lake Travis Independent School District is on the smaller side. When you're looking at the Round Rocks of the world and the Leanders of the world, each of those districts by themselves has about 30 to 40,000 students, whereas the Lake Travis Independent School District only has on average about 10,000, which I suppose is what you can expect when you're talking about a community, an area that surrounds the lake, that is in the hill country, that is by nature a little bit more exclusive. Now with all that out of the way, it's time to ask the question of why it might already be too late to live in BK, Texas, or whether or not it's still a good idea, and the reason why is its affordability, or lack thereof. As it currently stands, Bee Cave, Texas, on average, has a median home price of right around $900,000. And truth of the matter is, for people who are wanting to get into the area with a budget of maybe four or five or $600,000, are pretty much priced out. I mean, even the new build homes that are coming out at their cheapest are going to be in the seven and eight hundreds. And of course, easily above $900,000, well into the millions if you're wanting something large and if you're wanting something new. So really, if, if you want something around that $500,000 mark, it's either going to be smaller or it's going to be built around the year 2000, so about a 20-year-old home. Now, on the flip side to this, you could look at Bee Cave, Texas and its location and see the median price point of right around $900,000 and think, well, oh my gosh, for what I'm getting, for the views, for the lake access, for the proximity to downtown, that's actually quite a steal. Or you might be someone who's looking at the Cedar Parks of the world, the Leanders, the Round Rocks, the Georgetowns, the Liberty Hills, the Pflugervilles, who might have the money to afford Bee Cave, but 
you're looking at those places thinking, well, if 900 is kind of the going rate for B Cave, Texas, what can 900 buy me in suburbia where everything is essentially more bang for your buck than anything remotely close to downtown Austin? So that's the thing with B Cave, Texas. As it rapidly grows in popularity and recognition, the home price is going to rapidly appreciate already on top of how much Austin as a whole is rapidly appreciating with all of the people moving here all the time. Now, real quickly before moving on, go ahead and drop a comment down below with any questions or opinions for us to get involved with. If we've been providing any value for you as well, consider liking the video in addition to that. Remember to subscribe and lastly, share this with anyone you know who's wanting to learn more about living in in Austin, Texas. Next up, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the things to do in Bee Cave, Texas. And that is a question we get asked a lot by the people who reach out to us, whether it's about Bee Cave, Texas, Dripping Springs, Texas, Buda, Kyle, Pflugerville, Maynard, Taylor, what is there to do in this place? Are, are we gonna be bored out of our minds? And for some of the places in the greater Austin area, the answer is yes, you're gonna be bored out of your mind. You're gonna have to drive a long way to have anything fun to do. Well, in the case of Bee Cave, Texas, even though it is technically a suburb, there is a still a fair amount of things to do there. Granted, those things to do are going to be of a suburban flavor, if you will. It's not like you're gonna be living just a few blocks away from the heart of downtown Austin, right? But in BK, you are going to have its main attraction, which is the Hill Country Galleria. And let me tell you, that is quite nice. I'm not sure if any of you have visited Austin, Texas and been to the Domain, but it's essentially very similar to the Domain, just in B Cave and in the Hill Country of Austin, Texas. So it is absolutely gorgeous to spend your day there shopping, maybe go catch a movie, maybe catch a bite to eat. And in addition to the Hill Country Galleria, as mentioned, a lot of your options are going to be relatively suburban. So you're gonna have your grocery stores, you're gonna have your fine dining, you're gonna have your coffee shops, you're going to have your breweries. Um, however, what I'll add to that though, that makes Bee Cave a little bit unique when compared to the Georgetowns of the world or the Round Rocks or the Leanders, is that it is so close to Lake Travis. So a lot of the things to do in Bee Cave are going to be similar to the things you can do in say Lakeway or say in Lago Vista or say in the West Lake Hills, which is essentially going to be lake living, paddle boarding, getting on your boat, going jet skiing, all of these things a day with the family, pack a picnic, pack a case of beer if you're not bringing the kids or maybe if you are I'm not here to judge but it is going to have a lot of those things to do so that might be your flavor or it might not. Lastly on the subject of Bee Cave Texas I will mention just a few random disclaimers one of which is the increase in traffic. So as opposed to the Leanders of the world or the Butas or the Kyles or the Bastrops or the Georgetowns of the world who are all relatively suburban in their own right B Cave, Texas is going to be much closer to central Austin, which means all of the influx of people who have flocked here in recent years are really clogging up the traffic. And so Austin is building more construction to deal with the traffic, which makes it even more of a headache. So if you're going to be living in that area, I'm not going to say it's a deal breaker. It's not necessarily that bad as if you're living in the heart of downtown having to deal with it. No, but it is going to be heavier traffic than you might be used to or than you might find in either the areas south of Austin or north of Austin. Another quick disclaimer is going to be the subject of politics for whom it may concern because some of us they really don't care about politics. Some of us really care about politics. Some of us are right in the middle. Regardless of where you stand to whom it may concern, yes, the politics in Bee Cave, Texas are going to lean more left. They're going to lean more Democrat. They're going to lean more liberal. So for those of you out there who perhaps might be more right wing and really prefer that, it might not be the right area for you. But if you really don't care, then it's no big deal. People in Texas, people in Austin overall are going to be kind and respectful regardless of where they stand on the political fence or sit. Now, lastly, on the subject of quick disclaimers, I will mention the increasing crime in Austin, Texas. Now, granted, if you're living in Bee Caves near Lakeway, near the West Lake Hills, it's not like you're gonna be sleeping with one eye open. But if you are going to be either working out of downtown or doing a lot of your playing downtown with the kayaking or the paddle boarding or the bar hopping or the restaurants or the music venues, the comedy theaters, all of these different things that makes Austin, Texas, Austin, Texas, I will just warn you in the spirit of transparency that in the past, 
just year or two alone, the statistics for crime in Austin, Texas have absolutely skyrocketed. They haven't just slightly increased, they have dramatically increased in regards to burglaries, aggravated assaults, murders, all of those things are dramatically high right now in Austin, Texas. So I don't say that necessarily to scare you or to dissuade you, but just to keep you aware, if you're going to be spending a lot of your time in the city of Austin, Texas, which again is only about 20 to 25 minutes from the cave, Texas, it's just something to think about. So maybe it's right for you, maybe it's not. Maybe it's right in your price point or maybe you want something a little more affordable. Maybe the schools are good enough for you or maybe you want the best of the best. Everything in between, that is what we are here for though. Helping you relocate to Austin, Texas and finding that perfect place, making your move as smooth as possible. But the only way we can do that is by you reaching out to us. So again, don't hesitate whether you're nine days away or 90, shoot our team a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day. We've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. In addition to that, as mentioned, we put out loads of new content each and every week about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. Comment down below for us to get involved in. Like this video if we've been providing any value for you. Share it with anyone you know wanting to learn more. And until the next one, you guys, my name is Frank. This is Living in Austin, Texas, and we will absolutely catch you later.